Hello again. We'll show you some pictures out of KwaZulu Natal now, the royal household Kwakangela Mangengane, where the Kaikezer and provincial government leaders are meeting with the Amazulu monarch, King Mr. Zulu Gazwelitini. Apologies for the rather blurry quality of these shots, but it's all happening now with just a matter of days to go before the official ceremony that will see the king become the leader of Amazulu in the country. We're looking now at pictures of a photo opportunity. That's our reporter, Zianda Ngobo, in picture. Zianda, we can see you now. Give us an idea of why this is such an important visit. Well, you'll know, Tembegile, that next weekend is the big day where President Cyril Ramaphosa will be handing over the certificate of recognition to King Mr. Gazweli Tini. And you'll know that the premier, the new cabinet that was installed recently, made a commitment that they too would be coming to give prayers and to introduce themselves formally to the king of the Amazulu nation as per the tradition of all the other premiers who've done this before. But equally important, Tembegil, is the fact that the KZN government is going to be pivotal in organizing that big event that's taking place next week where over uh, 50,000 people are expected to descend upon the Moses Mabida Stadium. So we anticipate that is also likely to be a part of the discussions that are now going to take place. We started off with those visuals. You saw uh, the Amazulu king seated and flagged by KZN Premier it's also the first time that she's actually come uh, to see the king. She, every time there's been an event, whether it was Umgenes Bayeni or Umkoswelembe, uh, Umkoswomhlanga, she hasn't been in the country. So this is the first time she'll also be interacting with the royal monarch. And Zianda, how important is it in KwaZulu Natal uh, for the provincial government and the monarch to be seen, to be working together, collaborating? It's, it's, an, it's a long-standing tradition. The KwaZulu Natal government and uh, the, the royal household have had a good relationship for years. You'll know that even the budget for the royal household comes from the office of the premier. That's been a long-standing uh, engagement. And I think, you know, part of the visit here is also to allay any fears about relations, uh, you know, being changed or being tapered as a result of the passing away of the late king, then Kwaizulu Zulitin Kabehuzulu. And so, uh, you know, there's been a transition uh, on many aspects, you know, with, the, with now uh, the ascension of uh, Mrs. Zulu to the throne, who's been on the throne, uh, dealing with the court challenges and the official recognition now that the king is also going to be receiving from President Cyril Ramaphosa as per the laws of this country. And when the president does arrive, I know in the last, what, 24 hours, even the corruption of governance minister, Ngwasa Zanatlamini Zuma, has been in KZN to make sure that things run according to plan next week. Certainly, I mean, the Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Department is the custodian, really, of uh, the organizing of next, week, next week's events. They've been working together with the Royal Council of the Amazulu Royal Household, and they've been uh, dealing with managing, of course, then the protocols when it comes to the state, but protocols insofar as, uh, you know, Amazulu uh, traditions. And, you know, it's a once-in-a-lifetime kind of an event. The last time a king, the, uh, king of the Amazulu nation was currently was in 1971 so this is also going to be this is part of why uh, it's going to be such an historic event that is going to be taking place where thousands are expected to descend upon uh, the Moses Mabita Stadium and really uh, to also send a message to the rest of the world that the Amazulu nation is still strong it's still powerful and that in fact even in a constitutional democracy it does still have the support of the government and that uh, you know there is no longer any kind of battle or question over who is the rightful heir to the throne. Zianda, just on that point then of the visit, what more do we think or do we know is in fact going to happen today while the delegation from the provincial government is there? So we know that, of course, uh, they are in a closed-door meeting. As you saw, uh, we stepped out as the media. We were just given an opportunity, a photo opportunity there. And then there will be a few remarks after this uh, that are likely to be made by the KZN Premier. So it's going to be a short program, but an important program nevertheless. It's been some time now that this new cabinet has been installed. And you know, you'll know, just like other monarchies across the world, such as in the UK, there is a close relationship between the royal house 
household and be governments. And so maybe perhaps the only difference is that, you know, our king does not choose uh, someone like the prime minister. But however, it's always been something that uh, the premier is very concerned about for the stability of the Amazulu nation, which of course then resides here in KwaZulu-Natal, led by Premier Nomusa Dube Ngube. At Kwakangela Manganga Palace in Kaiserlin. Thank you very much for that update. We'll come back to you as soon as there's more movement later.